Hello you guys, I'm finally getting around to making a video talking to you guys about what my weekly routine is like regarding my nails. A lot of you guys know that my nails are natural and I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I do during the week so that my nails don't break. I want to start off by telling you guys that my nails are nothing special. I am in a really bad nail category. I have thin, brittle nails. So. A brittle nail is much like a Dorito, where it's so, so rigid that if you bump it into something, poof, there goes a piece of your nail. It just chips off. I remember in the past, before I would follow this routine I'm about to share with you, that I'd be in a department store and just by moving the clothes rack, there went a piece of my nail. It would just chip off. That's how bad it was. And my nails haven't changed in category. I have the same exact nail type. The only difference is that I've learned how to maintain the length regardless whether I have brittle nails or not. Here are my nails. I came outside to show you guys and I want to show you how really thin my nails really are. And this is even after applying my base coat. So I'm going to place my nails there and you could see how really thin they are. So the top coats really help a lot to maintain them nice and strong. Something that's very important whether you use a nail strengthener or a nail hardener is to apply them correctly. It's not as if you're going to apply your base coat, your top coat once a week and you're set for the week. That's not the way these work. Not the ones that I've tried. Um, you have to apply the top coat, a, to a nail strengthening top coat or any top, basically any top coat of your choice, any top coat you like. But don't just apply it once a week and expect that your, week, your nails are set for the week because they're not. Um, what I have to do is the first three days I'll apply a top coat a day. One top coat a day. And I've said this before and I can't stress it enough. Polishing your nails free edge is super important because it'll give your nails super protection and by the end of the week you're gonna have thick nails and they're gonna look artificial looking but that's okay. Artificial nails are beautiful and it'll give you lots of protection. That's what I do the first three days. The following four days, I'll apply one coat every other day. But if you feel that you have to apply a coat every day, then apply your coat every day. That's the important part, knowing how to apply your, your um, nail strengtheners, your nail hardeners the correct way. Most of them have the instructions in the little box or in the little um, bottles, but that's how I apply them. Another thing is, to use your oils. It doesn't have to even be a cuticle oil. If you have olive oil, apply a little bit of that. That'll moisturize your cuticles just as the nail cuticle uh, oil would. Creams, balms, anything you want. Anything that'll just really moisturize your cuticles will be great three times a day. I carry a little one in my purse. I have one next to my bed and I do apply them three times a day. I massage them in over my cuticles. The third thing is that once you have length to your nails or even if you just want your nail design to last longer, wear gloves whenever you're going to be doing dishes or whenever you're going to be doing any kind of housework that requires your hands to be in water for an extended period of time. That's very, very important. To me, it's so important important that when I'm going to go visit someone, I take my gloves with me. In case I end up washing dishes, at the end of the day, I'm covered. No big deal. I can wash the dishes because I have my gloves in there. That's how important they are. And this also helps your manicures last longer and it protects your nails, of course. So those three things are very important. A question I receive a lot is, what do you do when you break a nail? I don't stress about it. Nails break sometimes but i'm going to be very honest with you and tell you that i will rarely get a broken nail last year i got three broken nails that's it but if i don't follow what i'm about to share with you that's when i've gotten a broken nail the three times i broke my nails it was because i wasn't following my own rules regarding um my nail routine i have to be very loyal to my nail routine or else my nails i wouldn't have long nails and to me it's not just about having long nails i want all my nails to be nice and even if one of my nails breaks all of them are going to be filed down all of them i don't like having uneven nails another very important thing for me personally is that i have to remove all the coats of nail strengthening my just my manicure i have to remove my manicure once a week if i leave it longer than that the nail polish and the nail strengthener turns hard and if you bump into something what's gonna crack isn't gonna be the nail polish it's gonna be your nail and that's how my nails have broken because i haven't followed my own routine i relocated last year three times 
and I didn't get a broken nail. So following this routine, I hope helps you guys a lot. And I'm gonna start by showing you guys what I do as soon as I take off my nail polish. I just removed the nail polish from my nails and I thoroughly washed my hands making sure that there's no polish remover residue left. After this, I like to file my nails. I file my nails once a week so they'll maintain the square shape. There's a variety of nail files. You have your emery boards, you have your crystal nail files. Um, well, this one here is not a crystal nail file. This is a stone nail file and I really like these because they give you a really nice clean finish. And your, your crystal nail files, of course. I'm going to be using just a regular emery board. So the way I file my nails, I go from one side to another. And depending on how much length I want to lose for the week, that's how many files, um, how many times I'll file each nail. This week I'm going to be filing each of my nails 20 times. So the way I do this, I start on the left side and I just go straight across, very simple. So I, I'm gonna be doing this 20 times. Once I file my nail, I like using a buffing block and all I use it for is the very corners of the nail, just so it'll leave a very clean line. So I'm just doing the very corners. I usually never file the sides of my nail unless I see that I need to file a, a little piece of the nail. And in that case, all I do is just very gently going once or twice, depending on how many times I need to file um, to smooth out. The sides. I don't buff my nails regularly, so it's been months since I've buffed my nails. Followed by this, what I like to do is place my fingernails in a homemade solution. Once my nails are filed, I dip my nails in a natural homemade solution. What I use is white distilled vinegar. I'm going to fill up my little uh, manicure bowls halfway with the white distilled vinegar. Next, I'll be placing half a tablespoon of olive oil into each of my little bowls. Next, I'll be placing one tablespoon of baking soda into each of my little bowls, and this is gonna make the vinegar fizzle. Now I'm just gonna place my fingertips in there for five minutes. Now that my five minutes are up, I'm going to remove my fingernails from the solution and thoroughly wash my hands. After washing my hands, what I like to do is I like applying almond oil. The way I apply this is just very simply with a little brush. So I like going, or as if you were applying nail polish, I also apply it over the cuticle area and over the back as well. So I'm going to be doing this to all of my nails. So I do this to all of my nails and I just massage it in. Once I massage the oil in for about 15 seconds each nail, I like using a cuticle pusher of, uh, very gently. All I like to do is just very gently press down. And if you apply your cuticle oil three times a day, there won't be a lot to push down. So that's all I do to all of my nails, very gently pushing down. As you can see, after pushing down on my cuticles, I still have a lot of oil left over. This would be the time you can use to wash your hands before applying your base coat. Now it's time to apply a base coat of your choice. The one I like using is the one by Neutronel Green Tea. The way I apply it, I just go straight down my nail in the center and just continue on the side. Sometimes I press on my side a little bit so I can get to the very corner and all the way to the top. I'm gonna to do the same thing to the other side. I also like adding a base coat to the back of my nail and all around my nail's free edge as well. My nails are nice and ready for a new nail design. What I use as a top coat is this top coat right here. And I've talked about this one before. One thing I want to mention is that I've been pronouncing this top coat incorrectly. So if you read there, you would think it says Sesh Vite. But I was reading the little paper that comes with the top coat. And look what it says here. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. 
and I'm going to point you to the area that explains how it's pronounced. It says the company is called Sesh and we do not use an accent over the last E, but we still say Seshe. So this whole time I've been pronouncing it incorrectly, I just wanted to mention that. So it's actually Seshe Vite. So this is what I use as a top coat. I allow my manicure to stay on my nails for seven days. So the first three days I'm going to be applying a coat a day, always remembering to do all around my nails free edge, applying the Seshe Vite over my nails free edge each and every time. The last four days I'll be applying a top coat every other day. So that's my weekly routine. That's how I maintain my nails long. Once the seven days are up, I'll remove everything and restart the process. So that's it for this video. I hope that the tips I gave really help you guys out. Take care you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello you guys, I'm finally ho 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 Hello you guys, in this video I'm going to be sharing with Hello you guys, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you E like, I don't know, just things, you could take a little bit of time away from that and invest it into this That was dumb That was dumb don't say it. Don't say it, girl. <laughs>